Hey, the thing that is most similar about myself and Jughead is probably the impressive libido. Um, yes. <laughs> the oppressive sexuality. Um, yeah. The, it, you're just oozing. The it energy. Just, it just comes off. The hyper-masculinity. The, the tension, the hyper-masculinity. Um, I think the biggest difference is uh, how much we consume. Um, I don't really eat that much, and Jughead eats in every single scene, practically. I, I smell a look of calling BS right there. I'm trying to stay svelte. I gotta keep my teen <laughs> drama body. Uh, I've seen you eat a all lot. the shirtless. I'm screaming is the pumpkin spice latte of tweets. Ah, oh, man. The amount of times I get people commenting, I'm screaming, or wig flu. Too many to count. Just like the girls in Uggs walking around NYU's campus drinking pumpkin spice latte during the fall. 27 million now, and that is more than the population of Australia. And I, you need, you need to use that power for good. Finally, yeah. I can go to war. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. Oh Get them, my babies! Cole Sprouse, and I'm going undercover on the internet. And then surprise me too much. Next. Cole Sprouse, why do you have bread in your pocket? I answered this, okay? Why don't you have bread in your pocket? Fair right now, please send help. I'll be going through my Instagram photos chosen by the team behind the cameras. Number one. <laughs> this makes me look like I'm good at pool, which I like. It's part of the reason I chose it. You see, I'm horrible at pool. The caption, oh, free my nipple. Um, no nipple should ever be under lock and key. Hope Instagram takes note of that. I broke your box. No. Oh no. Well, they are. Hello, 17-year-old child. Would you like to join the feds? I mean, you can basically that's change, a lot. change the planet. Do you know how many you have? Do you keep track? He knows the exact number at this I know the exact number. Of you? you or know? No, of Cole's. I know his exact number. 26.9. It's 27 million now, and that is more than the population of Australia, and I, you, need, you need to use that power for good. Finally. Yeah. I can go to war. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Oh my Get them, my babies! <laughs> Pretty much the only foreigner on this cast and I just felt like an outsider. Do you want to lay down on the couch and we can take notes? <laughs> it's Except for the cousin. Daddy. Daddy. No. no. Daddy. He's too young. He has no offspring. Young. I am father. <laughs> <laughs> I must have missed this national holiday. Jellyfish day? Same question to you. Uh, <clears throat> um, <laughs> I got to watch uh, my mother have a ninja battle. Um, last season. Had no idea how to play it. Um, but that was that was a good time. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully more uh, maternal nin ninja battles um, to come. And so then it just becomes a fashion show. In case you haven't noticed, I, I don't put too much thought into it. It's casual, it, it's breathable, um, it's Gucci. It's not it really? Gucci. <laughs> I don't know what it is, to be honest. It's it looks crazy. comfortable. It looks yeah. comfortable. I'd like to think like some large, sweaty person was playing golf in one of these a while ago, and then I found it in the vintage store after it had been washed 10 to 12 times. You get to meet even more Riverdale fans in there, and they get to react to what you guys have been doing. You've been doing this for a minute. What's your favorite part about interacting with the fans? When they give me free stuff. As much free stuff as possible. Anything you want to give me. Anything that you need right cash. now? Cash! <laughs> as much cash as you can. Alan Sprouse, were you Zach or Cody? Yeah, we never really figured that out. Um, the lines would change week to week, and uh, by the time the live, live audience came in, we, we, we sort of just decided who we would play. It's all fun and games until Carrie Underwood digs her keys into the side of your pretty little souped up four wheel drive. I mean, it really is all just fun and games until she does that. And she goes around from city to city, state to state, um, seeking vengeance. She has a lot of keys. 
and there are a lot of trucks in Midwest America. And she'll just carve her name right into it. In fact, it's probably more popular than an autograph at this point. Um, and if I had a pretty little souped up four wheel drive and I met Carrie Underwood, I would ask her to carve her name into mine.